day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Our word for today, Psalms 27, verses 4 to 5. One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he would hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He would set me high upon a rock. The Psalms written by King David, this reveals much about the heart of the servant of God. See, there are two outstanding attributes about David. One, he was a man after God's own heart. And two, he loved being in the house of the Lord. See, for him, the tabernacle was the place to always desire to be. I don't know about you, but from my experience, see, when the saints of God gather themselves together to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, there's absolutely nothing on the face of this earth that can get any closer to heaven than that. Child of God, I impressed upon you today that the very set thing that made the tabernacle special to David or to be the very same thing that makes the church of the living God special for us today. See, far too many of us see the church as something we can either take or something that we would, would leave. However, we need to understand that the desires of the heart reveals the condition of the soul. And what we long for in life reveals what we love. And what we love reveals of who we are. May I ask this morning, who are you? Moses. I, I love Moses too. Moses was also an outstanding individual who was convinced that he wouldn't do anything without having God's presence with him. For him, it was useless attempting to do anything. When he spoke face to face with the Lord, he said, Lord, if your presence is not with me, I am not going anywhere. I won't take a single step unless I'm sure that you are with me. See, he knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that it, he says life was God directed. He knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that it was God's presence also in Israel that set the people apart from all other nations. He didn't care about other nations, how they would have received their guidance, how they would have formed their strategies, how they would have run their governments or directed their armies. He said, we operate on one single principle and it's been God directed and not self directed. Child of God, as you go through your day, be reminded that if you have God's presence in your life, you will, beyond a shadow of a doubt, experience God's divine order in your life. You will have joy, peace, rest, and contentment, knowing that God has everything under control. Shadow.